Welcome back to Bangkok, everyone. Today, we are all about night photography. part of the flower market at the moment. There is quite a lot happening here. Just trying my hardest not to get in people's way. Um, and also trying to get some images and clips and things. It's actually pretty difficult, I find, getting photos here. So I've got a couple. Um, but anyway, we're on our way for uh, night time. So just a quick little walk and I actually am in someone's way. Oops. <laughs> So we've arrived early uh, at a place called Pak Plong Talat, I believe. Um, we're in the flower market district and uh, it's currently 6pm. The sun's going to be setting in about 30, 40 minutes or so. And we're going to be heading towards Chinatown and other areas, all in search of night photography. So over the last few weeks that I've been in Bangkok, uh, I've tried some night photography, I've tried making a video, but it's kind of failed a couple of times. Uh, so we're really hoping for a good night photography experience. Right now, the light is looking beautiful. It is like dusty golden and uh, just really sort of shining through. <laughs> it is a hive of activity around here as well. Um, I love this area and uh, I think towards Chinatown is gonna be great for nighttime photography. It's also one of the hottest days we've had, uh, but happily, it's one of the driest. Humidity feels to be much lower um, so it's kind of reminiscent of when I lived in Melbourne and uh, we had highs of 40 but it was dry and I could walk around with trousers on and feel comfortable definitely not in trousers though here I am wearing shorts though So I'm not alone this evening, so of course we're with Ellie, um, but also met up with Aaron, who you joined on the meetup that I hosted in Bangkok two, three weeks ago, I guess? Yeah, two, uh, two or three weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, um, so you live here. I do. And uh, we're gonna go out and shoot. We've also got someone else joining, uh, Niels. He'll be here a little bit later, hopefully. Um, but anyway, I was just gonna say, whenever I'm out taking shots and things like that, I always feel like I need to warm up. Yes. Do you feel that? 100%. Like sport? Oh, uh, yeah, 100%. Maybe, I think maybe half an hour, an hour. Yeah. Everything's rubbish. And yep. then you start to find a little bit of a groove, personally. I, I definitely find I need to warm up more with my photography. Yes. Video wise, there's always something of interest. Um, yeah. So what's funny is that when I start a video, I'm like inspired making the video. But photography, I'm like, nah, I need to get into a groove. So the first few images in a video, usually a little bit crap. <laughs> um, but then it just kind of gets a bit better, I think. It I'm does. hoping anyway. It does. I can yeah. tell you it does. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean it's not shit? <laughs> <laughs> and Ellie's here. I'm here. <laughs> I just did an intro. Oh, okay. <laughs> just before we start heading uh, down towards uh, Chinatown, which is to the east, um, we're actually just coming to the riverside and uh, it's blue hour. Almost. <laughs> Blue hour is about to happen. Headlights are coming on. It's one of my favorite times for Bangkok. Um, but I'm gonna reserve myself because we're going for night vibes. Pure night vibes today.
to see you, man. Thanks Good for to see you in. guys. Sorry I've got to go early, but no worries. there we go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thanks. So Aaron uh, has had to leave us, but Niels has joined us. <laughs> so Niels uh, was also from the meetup uh, a couple of weeks back. And um, yeah, we were just chatting about all sorts of things, saying, you know what, we really want to do some night photography. And uh, he was well up for that. So uh, has joined us. And I think we're going to be getting to the meat of the video now. I'm hoping so anyway. It's been a bit quiet where we're walking around. So there's a lot of places shut and lights are off and other things. So we're going to head down to Chinatown uh, to Yarrawat Road. Just kind of like going to main sort of roads through Chinatown. Niels. <laughs> Welcome to the internet. You know what this is, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, sure. It's this portal to the web. <laughs> How are you What's doing? Up, guys? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. So you're keen for night street photography. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Any plans? Any ideas? For tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Like some neon would be cool. Okay. It's always tough to find that in Bangkok. It's just like one street in Chinatown where it's a lot of it. But apart from that, it's uh, some small shops. So we have to get lucky, I guess. Okay. Well, let's find out. Oh yeah, what what camera you're on? You're a you're oh, a, you're a uh, Fuji. Fujifilm, yeah. <laughs> Fujifilm X-T2. Nice. So we're making our way down to the main sort of areas of Chinatown. Now I have been around in Chinatown at nighttime a few times on this trip. Uh, collectively, I think I've built up a body of video and some images and things. And I've noticed that the signage is lit up differently each night. So sometimes, like one of the three main ones is lit up and another time it's another one. So hopefully, collectively, I've managed to get uh, some shots of everything lit up and whatever. Um, I think it's just a sign of the times really that not everywhere's open. Everything's a little bit unpredictable at the moment of when things may be busy or may not be. Um, so anyway, hopefully I can piece together uh, a collection of clips and images and um, yeah, really give some justice to Chinatown at night. so much more comfortable with my F2 on. The 16 to 80, as much as it was nice getting that range, it just felt dark. So, F2 it is. It's probably a good point to mention because quite a few people questioned saying, what do I think about the new uh, F1.4 and the F1? Uh, I've still not tried them. I would love to use them. Um, I'd love to try the new Fuji lenses. So Fujifilm, if you're watching this, I'd love to try it. What is this? Sula. Oh yeah. Sweaty up a lit. Oh. Alarm? Yeah. Alert? Sweaty up a lip alert. One of the ways that I love to take images is to just focus in on some of the little details. It's the, the everyday moments that always capture my attention. And I'm trying my best uh, recently to try and get closer if I can. Uh, so I made a video previously about uh, some of my intentions of how I want to improve my photography. And getting closer definitely is one of those goals. But also when it comes to night photography, bright pixels are sharp pixels. And so as much as I'm drawn to the sort of everyday activity, I'm ever more drawn to the brighter everyday activities. And so <laughs> there is so much happening here. It's kind of hard to sort of decide what you want to get images of. And also the amount of times I see something, I'm like, oh, that would make a great shot. But then the moment's passed and my camera's gone. So I'm like, I'm really battling here. Um, but I think I've been able to get a few images that I'm pretty happy with. I'm trying to take it slow uh, in an environment that's moving fast, uh, which is a, a difficult one for me. But I'm enjoying it, having fun. I love this area for night. It's so cool. There's so much happening. How you getting on? I'm getting, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? I'm all right, yeah. You getting shots? A little bit, a little bit. Do you want to try this? Well, with this promise? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. And then if you just like hold it, yeah. as close yeah. as you can, like really, really up against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does work. That's pretty cool. Especially when someone was standing there, like just do it for them. Everything becomes like glowy behind it. Yeah, it goes like a little bit darker as well. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know the value, but I want to say it's like, an eighth or 
quarter of a stop. Uh -huh. But it definitely adds some move. To yeah. The, uh, needed a drink and uh, looked up a little bar, opened the bookshelf and uh, here you are. Check out this view on the, uh, on the balcony. We ended up going to a bar, uh, had a little sit down, have a few drinks, and now, of course, we want to get a few more drinks. Also, met up with another friend who joined us at the meetup uh, a couple of weeks back, Ryan and uh, Andrea, although Andrea's left um, to go and do some work, I think. <laughs> uh, so, we are now going to be making our way to another bar. What's the likelihood that we'll get drinks? I don't know, man. 60%. They stop, wait, what time does 7 Eleven stop? 12? 12. 12. 12, yeah. Would they stop at 12? So they stop selling drinks at 12. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this Bangkok series because it's been a lot of fun making it. I am loving Bangkok. We've only got a few more days here. The one week fear is in full swing. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're inspired to come and visit this wonderful city because I don't think enough people really look at Bangkok properly. So many people overlook it and they say, ah, what's the point in coming to Bangkok? This is the point in coming to Bangkok. It is brilliant. Yes. We got a drink. We got one drink, our last drink. 